Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I have got a good one for you today, guys. It's a new technique that plays off of the reverse wacky rig technique that I did a video on a while ago. It's a very similar thought process. So I'm gonna call this the reverse drop shot rig. This is one that will generate a lot of strikes for you. I've been having a lot of good success lately using it. I've only actually had it out a few times but I've caught a lot of fish both times. So I wanna share it with you because I think you'll catch a bunch of fish on it as well. Before I do get into what the reverse drop shot rig is, I wanna remind you I'm doing one-on-one -on -one virtual lessons through fishthemoment.com. The link is in the video description. They're one hour long Zoom calls basically where we can talk about whatever it is that you want. We can pull up lake maps, we can pull up Navionics, we can pull up Google Earth, we can do whatever talk about fishing, figure out ways to help you catch more fish. So check those out. Also guys, if you're looking to help support the channel in another way, please do your Tackle Warehouse shopping using my uh, Tackle Warehouse affiliate link. The link for that's also in the video description. All right, so the last video I did on the reverse wacky rig, which I'll put up at the end of this so that you guys can click on that as well, is all based on using a floating floating bait but the idea is you're using a wacky rig that will float to the surface versus sinking to the bottom in this case I'm doing the same thing with a drop shot rig you know to me a drop shot rig really excels for a couple of reasons one it's because you can suspend your bait off the bottom and a lot of fish actually feed higher but one of the biggest problems with it is always the fact that my bait is stable. It does not move. Yes, I can get it to suspend off the bottom, but I'd love to have a little bit more motion in it. So using the same thought process that I use with the reverse wacky rig, what I've done here is come up with this. So what I do here is I'll set, I, I rig it basically by putting a bobber stop on the line first. That's going to be the stopper level at which point your bait cannot rise anymore. At that point, I thread a drop shot hook on my line. I do not tie it on my line. I thread it on my line. And then I've got just my weight at the bottom. I added one bobber stop at the bottom for two reasons. One, it helps protect the knot because when I set the hook on a fish, my, my uh, hook will slide down to the bobber stop or to the knot on the weight, and therefore I wanna protect that knot. But two, say I'm fishing a bottom that's got maybe some small grass on it, I can actually raise the bobber stop that's at the bottom to prevent my bait from dropping anymore. So in this case, you can see I got a bobber stop here, I got a bobber stop by the hook, and because I'm using a floating bait, when this bait enters the water, this bait will actually float up to the other bobber stop. And then when I move my drop shot, I'll pull it back down to the, to the bobber stop that's set there. Or if I just have that at the bottom, when I move the drop shot, it slides down to the weight. And then when I stop it again, my bait will slowly slide up my line. So I get up and down movement of the bait on the drop shot. That's something most fish these days have not seen with a drop shot. Generally speaking, you have a knot there and it's just stable. But there's a couple other huge keys to this for th that make this something I absolutely love. And one of the reasons why I think it's gonna replace the drop shot altogether for me. The first, I no longer have a knot. And that knot for me has driven me nuts over the years because it's a, it's a big weak spot. I've broken off a lot of fish at that knot because that knot is getting torn or pulled back and forth because you take your tag end and go back through the hook eye. Well, that just makes your knot go back and forth. It creates a big weak spot, especially when you're talking about six or eight pound tests. In this case, we don't have that, right? So we remove that. The second is the fact that I no longer have to worry about that knot holding my bait in place. So this bait is free swinging. So that's gonna really reduce the amount of line twist that I get. So when I'm retrieving that to the back to the boat, which is when you get a lot of your line twist, my bait does not spin around the, uh, it does not, it's not held stable, which then creates the spinning of the whole bait. When I retrieve this now, the bait goes down to the weight and it might just spin freely on the hook, but I'm not getting any line twist when that happens. So it's really key. Let's go down to the water. I'll show you what it looks like. It's gonna be hard to show you this going all the way down, but the reality is you'll see that the bait floats up and down the line freely and I think you guys will recognize how good that this can be. Okay, so we've got the setup there. 
The bait's just gonna swing freely up the line. I'm gonna put it in the water. And you're going to see that the bait floats up to wherever that bobber stop is. And I'm in, only in six inches of water, so it's going up. The tail is actually floating up to the surface. But what that's doing is it's showing you, in fact, that it is floating up the line. So I'll move a little deeper. You can see it down there where it floated up the line. Now, if I want to create maybe three feet of movement, I slide my bobber stop up the line and you're going to see the bait's just going to float up to the surface. So in this case, it just floated up to the surface and because my bobber stop is, is about eight inches above it, it's not going to reach it, but the bait floats up to the depth that you make it. So you can change that any way that you want. One other thing to note here is in order to really get this bait to excel or this technique to excel is you need a bait that floats. This is a Z-Man trick shots. It floats very well, so it'll go freely up and down your line. So you need a bait that's going to rise to the surface with a small drop shot hook that's in the nose of it. Uh, not all floating baits truly float when you put a hook in them. So you're going to need to run into something that floats, and that's one reason why I like this trick shots. Uh, but there's a lot of different baits that you can use, anywhere from big worms all the way down to little drop shot baits. But something to keep in mind, you need to try this reverse drop shot rig. It's something the fish haven't seen. It's It will keep your bait out of that slimy grass and black stuff that's on the bottom of the lakes. It'll keep it above sand grass. You can fish it at a bunch of different levels. It's a really fun way to fish a drop shot. So give it a try, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. Another video coming out tomorrow.